Are you looking for a high-end office or gaming chair? Well, look no further. Today, we've got one that will suit your needs for body type and comfort for long hours of work and also something that will last at least over five years. Today, we're looking at the Mach 2 from LF Gaming. What's up, guys? My name is JD from JD Tech here, and welcome back to the channel where we discuss PC patch reviews, guides, mods, and more. So, if you're into that sort of thing, consider checking out the rest of the channel and subscribing. All right, so previously I reviewed the LF Gaming Stealth Chair, which is LF Gaming's top tier chair that was an absolute treasure to experience and sit in. The Stealth is $1,400 and one of the best chairs I've witnessed alongside with the likes of Herman Miller and Steelcase. It's handmade, fully adjustable chair dimensions, features memory foam, high density memory foam, Thermoguard fabric technology technology and more making for one of the best sitting experiences. The Mach 2 is the next tier down from the Stealth Chair coming in at $775. I suggest watching my Stealth Chair review for some of the more in-depth details that are shared with the Mach 2 to get a full understanding. So the Mach 2 has a mesh back with built-in lumbar support, a mesh headrest covered in the pleather-like Brissa Ultra fabric. The headrest is also adjustable, a slimmer seat pan compared to the Stealth, slightly different control mechanisms, and a hard resin base instead of the metal one on the Stealth. Those are the primary differences between this and the Stealth Chair. The chair comes packaged incredibly well. The packaging is all recyclable and uses compression foam. The chair comes in two boxes, one for the top of the chair and one for the bottom. The assembly only takes around 15 to 20 minutes and it's really easy and all that needs to be done is just screw in the arm pads and slide in the armrests into place and bolt in the top of the chair into the bottom. A very easy installation and one of my favorites. This chair is fully modular to accommodate most body types, which I absolutely love. You can adjust the back of the chair in terms of height by just sliding it up, which uses a ratcheting mechanism like the stealth chair. Once the back of the seat is at its max height, it will release and slide back down to the bottom to reset the height. It works flawlessly and easily and can be done while sitting. The headrest can adjust in height and angle to best suit the position of your head. The headrest sits far enough back that you wouldn't be using it while sitting upright in the chair, at least for me, but while leaning back will provide the head support you need. I do wish the headrest could be adjusted to come forwards and backwards because I do like to rest my head while upright in the chair. The headrest is also mesh, but has the soft Brissa Ultra Fabric pleather coating him. And the embroidery of the logo is soft enough that it doesn't irritate your skin in case you don't have hair on the back of your head. The lumbar support is non-adjustable, which I wish it was, but I personally don't think it needs to be because it's the right amount of lumbar support without being too intrusive. Armrests can swivel side to side, but don't slide back and forth. That control is covered by the seat pan, which can slide forward or backwards and is one of my favorite modular functions to exist on a chair. The armrests move up and down of course and can slide outwards or inwards on an adjustable track which is adjusted by loosening this knob or if you want remove the armrest altogether this is a fantastic feature and i absolutely love it the back can't recline all the way back to 180 degrees but if you unlock the tilt lock you can get pretty close to it and is definitely easy enough to sleep in at least in my experience adjusting the recline of the back is done by pulling on the lever on the right side in the rear the recline has an infinite amount of adjustment points no notching or preset adjustments the lever in the middle on the right side adjusts the height of the chair by twisting it, which is really easy to use. Next to the height adjustment is the tilt tensioner knob, which does exactly that by twisting the knob either clockwise or counterclockwise. On the left hand side in the front is the tilt lock knob, which locks the tilt by twisting the lever. And in the rear is the lever for sliding and adjusting the bottom seat pan. All the controls are very well made and incredibly easy to use and give you the ability to adjust while sitting in the chair. The controls are absolutely flawless and intuitive for a chair that gives you so much control over over movement. Now let's talk comfort. Yeah, it's pretty dang comfortable. The fact that you can sit the way you want and have the body type that you have, at least for the most part, and a chair that can accommodate to that is such a treasure and plays a major role in comfort. The seat pan uses a high density memory foam to last a while without getting too shallow or bottoming out. The seat pan is also contoured to suit the shape of your legs and provide better blood flow. The armrests also use memory foam and great for those with tennis elbow and the like compared to a hard foam found on most chairs. The mesh backing is absolutely absolutely fantastic and feels extremely light on your body as well as the headrest. This chair is crazy comfortable. Again, you can sit comfortable for four hours without having to get up, at least for me. For cheaper office and gaming chairs, if I'm spending all day sitting in them, I have to get up every hour to get my blood going and my back from hurting. Now, you can sit in the Mach 2 for more than four hours, no problem, but I like to recirculate my blood every four hours with this chair. I binge watched Stranger Things season one and two over three days and 
have been using this chair for over a month and now it's great for productivity and relaxation. The surface material is one of my favorites with the Brissa Ultra Fabric leather type material that is insanely smooth and porous to allow transfer of heat to go into the memory foam padding, which uses Thermoguard technology by absorbing the heat from your body into the memory foam so that the surface material remains cool to the touch unless it's a very warm ambient temperature environment. This is also important for long hours in the chair because you don't turn into a sweat soup like most chairs that aren't 100% mesh. Build quality is yet again flawless. There was a bit of creaking when I first got the chair, but after moving it around the different mechanisms and working the mechanical grease into place is now silent. Elf Gaming is part of a parent company that manufactures handmade furniture, so they definitely know what they're doing. Everything from the stitching to the mechanisms to the adjustment knobs and to the casters. The chair is solid. I've yet to find a flaw in its build quality to even nitpick about. This chair slides well and smooth on hardwood and doesn't use any flashy aesthetics to distract from its elegance. This has a 10 year warranty on the frame, wheelbase, fabric and workmanship and the 5 year warranty on the control mechanism, moving parts and the mesh. The warranty weight limit is 250 pounds. It doesn't mean it won't support over 250 pounds, it just means the warranty won't cover it. It's a little low in my opinion, but there's engineering and testing that goes in that backs up that claim and there's a reason for it. So I understand the Stealth has a warranty weight limit of 300 and the Stealth XL has a warranty weight limit of 425. I know the price may seem insanely high, but when you start putting the individual pieces together of what makes this chair a whole, it becomes very apparent of what kind of outstanding quality you're getting into. This is for those who sit long hours doing work at the desk or gaming, but have the money to do so as an investment on their health. Not to mention, I went through two separate gaming chairs that were $200 each and almost less than one and a half years. There's also payment plans for all the LF gaming chairs and for the Mach 2 you can set up a plan of paying $130 a month for 6 months without interest. To some this chair is too much and I understand that. This chair is expensive but if you want to invest on your health and comfort and a chair that you can use all day and have the money to afford this I believe this is a solid buy and if you want the next step up obviously go for the stealth chair. The Mach 2 is incredibly impressive and a masterclass of a chair and earns the quality cog. And to be perfectly clear I'm 6 foot 2 180 pounds and I believe this chair will suit someone comfortably up to 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and obviously different types of body types because of the modular aspect. So that's something very important to check out. And also if you guys want to see the LF Gaming Stealth Chair Review, which is the next tier up from the Mach 2, that's right over here. It's a full review. And if you guys want to help support the channel, I've got Patreon down in the description below as well as merch like that PC art over there. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.